It's interesting that absurdism has a connection to nihilism and therefore optimism. Absurdism is the idea that there is a tension between the human mind or human spirit and the reality of the universe. While the human mind cannot help but search for meaning, the universe cannot offer one. It is up to the human mind to create the meaning, ultimately. The tension is what is absurd. Absurdism is the ability to laugh at a dire situation because of the mere fact that it is dire. Absurdism is noticing the pure comedy in the predicament of mankind, but rather than being pessimistic about the existence of the comedy, it is important to have the humility to laugh along with it. Absurdism does not mean that there is no meaning to life. It means that humans create their own meaning. It means not taking any comment to heart and not caring what others think. It means persisting, not in spite of the madness happening all around you, but because of it. It means making every comment with organic and authentic intention. For what purpose is there in life other than the purpose you make? If you do not create a purpose, there ceases to be one. A lack of intention in life signals a lack of meaning. Don't be fake. Don't change who you are for the sake of others. Don't put others down for the sake of yourself, because you'll only change them for the worse. The only real thing is oneself, the human mind. Reality is not where we find ourselves, it is who we find ourselves to be. The world around us may appear to be absurd, so that is why it is pertinent to conserve the only fibers of reality which we have left, ourselves. And what are ourselves? I argue that what we boil down to are human ingenuity and human potential. Those two things can be preserved if we treat one another with dignity. Nihilism arises out of absurdism when the eye of the mind is pessimistic. If the world around me is absurd, then what use is anything I do? That is where these individuals are wrong. The world is absurd to us humans, yes. Perhaps it is absurd to every other animal or living being as well. We may never know for sure. Yet what we know is that we have the ability to make the judgment that it is absurd. If one is an nihilist, then one has the ability to realize their worldview. If Alex sees the world around her as pointless, she has the mental capacity and ability to make that judgment. This means that she has the ability to take the world and change its definition based on her ability to reason. Therefore, if she reasons differently, she can change the definition of the world around her. Therefore, she ought to reason that the world is not pointless, because why argue the world is pointless when she can just as easily argue it's not? If she simply settles that the world is pointless, then she will probably be the millionth person to do so. However, if she attempts to make a point to the world, perhaps she may come up with something original, something that can change the world. Alex will never change the world if she thinks it's pointless. She can only change it if she does the work to give it a point. Absurdism is not the acceptance of nihilism. It is laughing in its face because it is just as absurd to be a nihilist as it is to be an optimist.